This is Diana Sullivan in Austin, Texas. Here's a cute little Christmas stocking that you can make. See how small it is? To hang on your tree or to tie on a package or you could put something very special indeed inside this and use it as a gift wrap. Now if you learn to make a small Christmas stocking, big ones are made the same way. We are going to do this one starting with the hem and then we're going to do some ferrile, put in the heel, a little more ferrile, and put in the toe. Now I've had a good time making these with all kinds of scrap yarn. Here's some leftover blue sock yarn, some leftover red, yellow, and orange sock yarn, and this one is another sock yarn that was kind of a red and brown variegated but it has a nice little sparkle in it so I think you'll have a lot of fun with this little project I used red white and green yarn for my first one I like a white background if it's going to be a tree ornament but for this one I was digging through my scrap sock yarn and found this sparkly stuff with some red and green I think it'll be wonderful for the Fair Isle. You just need a little bit of something for a nice bright contrast for the Fair Isle part of the sock. Start by pulling out every other needle from 15 on the left to 16 on the right. This little project will be a total of 32 stitches after we get the hem part done. I'm hanging a close pin and doing an E-wrap cast on. Then knit one row over all the stitches tension 5 and hang the comb. Now knit four more rows and then bring the in-between needles out into work plus one more on the left. Now you're on needle 16 on the left over to 16 on the right. You're going to loosen the tension up to tension 7 and you're going to knit 7 rows. Now take the comb off and pick up the hem. To pick up the hem just unroll the work and fold it and find the long loose loops along the very edge and start on the second needle and just put that on a needle. Today I'm using a 965i and I'm turning it on, setting it for patterning all across, and I'm putting in pattern number 66. And just hit step until the ready light comes on. I'm changing the machine so it'll select needles. I put it on KC and I went over to the right outside the turn mark. So now my machine is going to select needles. I'm also hanging a comb back on this work. And I think a weight would be nice. Let me just put one on in the middle. Now I'm going to knit across and it'll select needles. Now I press the MC button, stands for multicolor, 
and I'm going to put in my contrasting color of yarn. and knit from left to right. Now the pattern I'm using is one of those designs that has a few rows of pattern and then it stops selecting except the end needles. Let me show you how to deal with that. So I'm knitting the contrasting color until I get to a row where it doesn't fit. And there it is. You see how both ends, there's a needle out? Well, you can just push that in, and it'll only knit the white. And you can push it in again. Make sure that the red isn't caught, and it'll only knit the white again. And now, you can keep going, and it'll knit the next group with both colors. When I get to the spot where it has completed this second motif, I'm just going to do three rows of the white only. And since I know I'm done with the multicolor for now, I'm cutting it, taking it out of the feeder, and I'm canceling the multicolor button. Get that yarn, let it hang down. So I'm going to do three rows with the white. And I didn't turn off patterning, but I should have. So I'll just push those back. Now it's time to make the heel. So to make the heel, put the short row button on. Go from N to H on your carriage. And then the needles that are not part of the heel bring them out to hold. The machine will just ignore them. And we're not going to make a white heel. I'm going to take the white yarn out of the carriage and I'm going to hang it under the end of the bed. And I'm going to put the multicolor yarn in and use multicolor yarn for my heel. So I'm going to knit across. Now I'm going to start doing the heel decreases. Okay, so to decrease for the heel, just bring one needle on the carriage side also into hold and it'll skip it. So do that on that side and we do it on the carriage side every time until we're down to six needles. And pretty soon you're going to want to put your weight there. Just stick it right in the middle of that heel. Okay, bingo! With that row, I am now down to my six stitches. Let me adjust my weight a little, bring it on up. Now, to increase back out, I'm just going to move one needle opposite the carriage to upper working position and increase back out to make the second part of the heel. And now that's ready to increase, but because I'm over on the right with my carriage, this is a great time to go ahead and unthread this multicolor. I'm parking it under the carriage on the left side. Put in the white and knit a row across all the stitches. So let me sw switch this out of hold and knit a row across all the stitches. I'm going to do two more rows in the plain white. The first row I'm going to knit to the right. I'm going to turn on patterning and go past the turn mark. Right there. I'm going to push the start button on my pattern so that it will set up the needles for the first row. 
This row will pick out needles. Then I push the MC button. Now I've cut the multicolored yarn and I'm putting it in the second feeder, the B feeder on this machine. And I'm going to work the first part of the ferrule again. This is the foot. I think it might be about six rows long. And then when I get down to the spot where it's not selecting the needles in the middle anymore, I'm just going to turn off patterning and I'm going to, to um, cut the multicolored yarn and continue to knit for three rows. Now my carriage is on the right and I'm going to short row the toe the same way that I short rowed the heel. So I'm going to go ahead and put half of the needles here into hold. I can cut the white thread. I'm not going to use white yarn again. I'll be using the colored yarn. So let me put the colored yarn in. And the heel is done the same way as the toe. So just like the heel, bring out a needle on the carriage side each row. Let's put a weight under there. Six. That's it. Now start increasing the same way that you increased your heel. Let me move my weight up. This is always a good moment for moving the weight up. And now you want to take the whole thing off on waste yarn. So I'm cutting the red, but I'm leaving enough red, multi, whatever this color is. I'm leaving enough for sewing up later. And I'm getting another color. I happen to have some green. I want a color with a good contrast to everything else. And I'm going to scrap off with maybe 8 to 10 rows of waste yarn. I need enough because I'm going to sew. I don't want it to unravel on me. Let's pop this off and see what we have. So here's the finished stocking. And here's the unfinished stocking. So let me go over what you need to do. The first thing you need to do is close the toe. And I have videos that show how to kitchen or stitch a toe and what you're going to do is fold it this way and you're going to sew these white stitches to these reddish stitches right here and you'll have your toe closed and once your toe is closed it's going to look as neat and tidy as that with just a little practice so close your toe and then once your toe is closed You've got a side seam to put in. It's right here. And to get it all matched up and really pretty looking, I like to do one row mattress stitch. And I have videos showing how to do that in detail. So it's a mattress stitch from the top of the hem down to where you closed your toes. So all the way down. See how it's going to come over like this? That's going to be mattress there to there. And on the other one I did, this right here is my mattress stitch beginning at the top of the hem and running down to the bottom of the little foot. So I hope you have a lot of fun with that.